we're in a new chapter now, chapter 10, and it's all about how to represent data. We're going to read picture graphs. This is lesson 10.1. Now, the name of the chapter is Represent Data. Data is another word for information. To represent data, we're going to show information. A picture graph uses symbols or pictures to show and compare data, information. We can use a little picture of a cat for each cat, and we can use a little picture of a dog for each dog. In our picture graph, we can answer these questions by the information that is shown. Here's cats, here's dogs. If each picture is a cat, there are one, two, three cats. There are three cats. How many dogs are there? One, two, three, four, five dogs. It makes it easy to see how many, doesn't it? Here's t-shirt colors. We have red t-shirts and green t-shirts. And down here is a little key. It says each little stick man stands for one person. The key is the part of the graph that explains the symbols or pictures. It tells us what they mean. So this one says that each stick man stands for one person. So there are blank people wearing a red t-shirt. We can count each of these is one person. So that's one, two, three, four, five. There are five people wearing a red t-shirt. There are blank people wearing a green t-shirt. We count one, two. There's two people wearing a green t-shirt. There are blank more people wearing red than green. We can look at the picture graph and we can compare them very easily. How many more people are wearing red? We look at these blank spaces and the red is filled in. So we know there's one, two, three more. There's three more people wearing red than green. And we can see there are three more little stick people for the red than the green. It's very easy to see that, isn't it? And picture graphs help us see how many and they help us compare amounts. Here we have a picture graph of what we had for dessert. So these people had these desserts. They had apple pie or they had pumpkin pie. Our key tells us that each little stick person stands for one person. So how many people ate apple pie? We look at the picture graph and we count. One, two, three, four. Four people had apple pie. How many people ate pumpkin pie? We look at the picture graph and count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six people ate pumpkin pie. How many fewer people ate apple pie than pumpkin pie? It wants to know the difference between the apple pie and the pumpkin pie. How many fewer people ate apple? We look at the bar graph and see these two empty spaces. That's two fewer. Two fewer people ate apple pie than pumpkin pie. We can see there are two fewer stick people for the apple pie compared to the pumpkin pie. It's very easy to see it with a picture graph. We can write a number sentence to show the difference. There were six pumpkin. There were four apple. We do six minus four and it's equal to two. So there were two fewer. That's the difference between the two amounts of pie. Now look at this picture graph. It's comparing four different car colors. We have blue, red, yellow, and green. 
and the key tells us that each black dot stands for one car. So how many blue cars are there? Look at the picture graph and count the black dots. One, two, three, four. There are four blue cars. How many red cars are there? We look at the picture graph and count the red cars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven red cars. How many yellow cars are there? We look at the picture graph and see that there's one, two yellow. How many green cars are there? We look at the picture graph again. We count one, two, three, four green cars. Circle the two colors with the same amount. Can we look at the picture graph and quickly tell which two colors have the same amount? Which have the same amount of black dots? Well, the yellow one only has two, and the red one is sticking way out over here. But if you look at the blue and the green, they line up, don't they? They both have four. So it's blue and green. The two colors with the same amount are blue and green. How many red and yellow cars in all? Our clue word is in all. That tells us we're going to use addition. We're going to add to get a sum. We need red and yellow cars. And the word and helps us too. We know there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven red cars and two yellow cars. We're going to add seven plus two. We can start at the seven, the larger add in and count on. Seven, eight, nine. There's nine. There's nine red and yellow cars. And the picture graph makes it very easy to see the data, doesn't it? Let's try another one. These are Bob's pets. There's fish and dogs. So Bob has blank fish. How many fish do you think Bob has? We look at the picture graph and we can count them. There are one, two, three, four four fish. How many dogs does Bob have? You can quickly look at the picture graph and see that he has two dogs. Circle the correct word to make the sentence true. Bob has fewer or more fish than dogs. We look at the fish and we see that the picture graph comes way out to here. There's four of them. He only has two dogs. So does he have more or fewer fish than dogs? He has more fish than dogs, doesn't he? So we're going to circle the word more to make the sentence true. Now we need to write a number sentence to show how many pets Bob has. He has fish and dogs. These are all his pets, so we need to add them together. He has four fish plus two dogs. Four fish plus two dogs is equal to four, five, six, six. He has six pets. It's our last one. Some children were asked what time they go to bed, and these are their bedtimes. Some children said 8 o'clock, some said 8.30, some said 9 o'clock, and the key tells us that each smile face stands for one child. So how many children go to bed at 8 o'clock? We look at 8 o'clock, and we count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, eight children. There are eight children who go to bed at 8 o'clock. How many children go to bed before 9 o'clock? 
We learned in the last chapter about telling time to the hour and half hour as half past. It says before 9 o'clock, so that means it's not 9 o'clock yet. So they don't want the 9 o'clock ones. Is 8 o'clock before 9 o'clock? Yes, it is. Is 8.30 before 9 o'clock? Yes, it's half past 8. The hour is still on the 8. So both of these are before 9 o'clock. And to find how many children go to bed before 9 o'clock, it's all of these, so we need to add them together. We need to add the eight children that go to bed at 8 o'clock plus and the children that go to bed at 8.30. One, two, three, four. And that will be equal to how many children go to bed before 9 o'clock. We can start with 8 and count on 4. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How many children go to bed before 9 o'clock? 12. 12 children. How many children were asked what time they go to bed? When we look at the picture graph, we can actually tell how many children were asked because of each smile face stands for one child. We count every smiley face in the picture graph and we'll know how many people, how many children were asked. We can add the eight children from eight o'clock. We'll add the children from 8.30. There's four. And we'll add the children from 9 o'clock. There were two. And that will equal how many children were asked. We just did 8 plus 4 is equal to 12. So these two are 12. We can add on the two, count on, 12, 13, 14. It's equal to 14. That means 14 children were asked. We can also count each smile face in the picture graph. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There were 14 children asked in all. You can make your own picture graphs. You can compare amounts. You can count your toys and see how many types you have and you can compare cars to trucks or you can compare blocks and their colors. Our next video is going to be Make Picture Graphs. It's lesson 10.2. We're going to be making our own picture graphs from information, from data. Okay? So have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.